And it's gotta be Settlement Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to Power Rangers, yeah Now it's morphin' time, I'm ready Oh, Jesus! <laughs> You've already like been dead. You've already been dead already. I am dead. I tried my best, but I can't even make it 30 seconds. <laughs> Welcome again, everybody, to an episode of Color Commentary, where we give you views from a different side. Of course, I'm your host, Rashad Waters, owner and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing, a company that sells music and instruments to marching bands all across the nation. Today, we'll be reviewing the movie A Quiet Place, a horror movie. And a very interesting movie. Um, a couple of interesting stars are in this movie. First of all, we get Emily Blunt, who played, if you've seen Edge of Tomorrow, she played Rita, the uh, Tom Cruise's opposite there. Uh, also, the daughter, Millicent, Millicent Simmons, was her real name. She played in the movie Wonderstruck, which I have no idea. Uh-oh. That's probably going to save me right now because, you know, with the beard gone, the creatures won't recognize me anymore. So they'll, they'll leave me alone. Uh, let me see here. Uh, but she also played the movie Wonderstruck, which I know nothing about. Uh, we also have uh, Noah Jupe, and that was the same boy that was the lead in the movie Wonder. I thought that's pretty interesting. That's the movie where the little boy has like the uh, this disfigured face, kind of like the movie Mask, and also Cade Woodward who died. Anyway, <laughs> the, uh, A Quiet Place is a very interesting movie uh, directed by and starring... Jim, How um, not Jim Halpert, <laughs> John Krasinski, Jim from The Office, that's who will always be to me. Uh, very interesting that he directed this movie, this is his third movie he directed, and also starring Emily Blunt, who is actually his real life wife. This movie features a family that's being attacked by some type of alien creatures, and they have to m remain absolutely silent, like not me or any of these guys' kids could do <laughs> it would be not pretty in the real world so we're going to go ahead and get to talking about this movie let's go ahead and start with uh my man here mr danny cho what's, what's going up, on danny? danny you know who it is it's your boy danny j quick ceo of fourth wall productions i write ace blade and king supreme comics that's why i got the purple on got the universal fan con coming up but um, yo, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to talk about this movie. I loved it. I loved it. All right, all right. And on the other corner here, also a, a dad himself, just like Danny, Mr. Charlie Taylor. What's going on, sir? What's going on, guys? What's going on? This movie was. I, I like this movie. I, I did like it. Some flaws, but I liked it. I liked it. I ended up liking the movie first. It caught me. I was like, what? But you know, it, it got me in the end. It was it was a pretty good movie. So uh I definitely gonna enjoy, you know, talking about this. But I'm Charlie Taylor from KFH Party Easy Part Owner. So just look for us for events and parties of all kinds. All right. Well you got the uh, you got the wheel, man, so why don't you go ahead and take it? Uh, what do you like about well, this movie? Basically, I guess some of the things I like, I like how they were having to be quiet the whole the whole movie, so they really had to focus on their emotions, like the <laughs> facial emotions. They're acting, they're crying, so you can actually feel what they're feeling. So it's like you see the dad having an argument with his daughter, and they're signing, but they're signing like with attitude. You know, she <laughs> get the hand off of me. You know, stomping off those sign language. You like, you better not talk to me no more. I'm like, right? Oh my God. I'm like, what did she just say to him? You know. <laughs> I was like, oh, you, you lucky we gotta be quiet. You lucky we gotta be <laughs> But uh and seeing like when the uh when the monsters, you know, had had everybody in really bad predicaments, it's like it's really tense, like, oh crap, shit. Did they say anything? Like when she was when she was about to have, she having that baby, whoo. I was like, girl, 
I don't know why he chose to have a baby in this movie. This is not the time. You picked the wrong alien film to have a baby in. So, uh, <laughs> so I really like how the actors, you know, use, you know, other skills to really show their audience, you know, to really get that feel of the movie. So I, I like that. Um, the pace of the movie was good. I didn't, I didn't think it, like, took too long on certain parts. Um it could have, it could have, I guess, explained a little bit more of the aliens. But as I was talking with some of you guys, I saw that the the wall that the father had in the basement really were some of the tying clues of why, you know, what happened, how they actually the beat beat the uh, armies of the world and so on. So I didn't really pay attention to all the, you know, the clippings that were on there. So that kind of that that was the only thing they could have, you know, gave a little more dialogue with. Um, <clears throat> I really like the music, the choices, you know, because with a movie like this, you got to have, I mean, it's a horror movie, so we know the music is going to really make the emotion of how you feel, you know, not just, you can watch this, you watch this this show, this movie on mute, you're not going to be scared, you know, that's uh, just about any horror film, so the music and the horror, they all have to connect together to make a good, you know, uh, you mm -hmm. know horror film. So that that they did that I like I like how they they played those off of each other, um, and to me I like the plot I like that it wasn't necessarily about aliens trying to kill you I mean yes that's that's the main premise of the movie but to me I got a little bit more out of just like how what a family would do to protect his own you know the love of the human race what's um, what we would do to survive like changing our whole life like just without you no know, I don't know where he got all the sand from. He poured a long time, and uh, so they took all the doors off, and they completely changed everything about their lives just so they could exist. So just kind of seeing how the human race would do just to survive. <laughs> so those are some of my, my my likes about the movies. So, but what about you guys, Danny? What you got, man? Oh man, this movie was unlike anything I've seen in a long time. Now y'all know I don't watch. I don't really watch scary movies like that. I don't do horror, but this movie, it wasn't really like a horror movie to me. It was just like a really intense thriller. Like uh, Charlie was saying that, that scene where she stepped on that nail, son. Yo, <laughs> that was real. That's real horror. I was like, first of all, you just went into labor. Like the act, the actors, the, her face was so serious when she was doing those breathes. She was, she was, <sighs> I was like, you are breathing too loud, ma'am. Calm it down a little bit. But, uh, it, was dope. it was dope. Everything from just the concept of the movie, it was something that I'd never seen up before. You got to be, there's a, a, a alien invasion. We've all seen alien invasion movies before, but this one was the monsters are indestructible. We don't know how to beat them. And then on top of that, if you're not quiet, they will kill you. Like, that's something new. Um mm -hmm. Like Charlie was saying, I like the sound design, like the um, from when um, how it would transition from the, the daughter who was deaf to, you know, you couldn't hear anything, but you could see what was going on. So you knew the things that we could see, we knew would make sounds. And then, you know, but she couldn't hear them. So we kind of felt her plight, you know, in this world around her. She was the most she was the most vulnerable. But at the same time, it was her um, her. Um, disability that helped that family develop be able to survive in that world because they already knew the um sign languages they knew you know they they could communicate without they had nonverbal communication so um that was dope um like again like charlie said they had to change their entire lives around it was cool seeing you know a movie without cell phones when was the last time you saw a movie without a cell phone in it like that's crazy did they have cell phones they had no they have no cell phones in pacific Rim. They had okay. airplanes. They had robots. <laughs> they had robots. They had holograms. <laughs> they, didn't the no jets, they didn't have no jets. They didn't have no jets. We didn't have no. We didn't no. have no jets in that movie. So. No jets. No phones. So you no, know, the girl did have a phone. The, the sister had a phone. Dog on it. All right, never mind. So you know, <laughs> I thought that was cool today. You know, because cell phones would get you killed. Somebody don't put that. Turn their ringer off one time. You know, <laughs> your, your alarm will wake you up in the morning. Gonna get you murdered. <laughs> So I thought that was cool. And just like I was saying, the, the, the scenes where the eight, like as soon as he like they did a great job setting up in the first 10 minutes that, OK, the sounds will get you killed because 
that little boy turned on that 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 toy turned that toy on and the dad was like oh my goodness he turned around <laughs> he couldn't save him he just couldn't save him so yo they set it up right from the beginning sounds will get you killed and then every time after that every time they made a sound you felt it you felt like okay somebody might die right now mm-hmm. so that, that was really good and then um um spoiler alert but the sacrifice the dad sacrificing himself at the end was just like like it brought it all together uh he he was willing to do anything for his family and he really gave up gave up his life for them and drop the axe yeah he dropped that axe and if he could have held on just uh, out like two days more how much longer after that was it that they found out <laughs> that the like, ear- they they found out like well at least on the movie it made it seem like they found out about 20 minutes yeah so, yeah if he could have just held on past that one more that one monster they all could have just lived happily ever after uh-huh. but, but why we did she turn her earpiece off we actually don't know you know i liked how the movie ended too because we don't know if they you know survived that last attack or if you know they all just got eight yeah. They you don't think that's <laughs> nobody knows. Okay, and nobody the knows only, how to the kill only, them now. They the just only ate. way that they survive is if the baby had some guns, the little boy <laughs> got some guns. Like everybody would punish your mode down there, and they would just, you know, everybody right. makes them down there, just like laying them out. You know, got a pile of aliens just stacked up. But just other than that, up. they gone. <laughs> what about you, Rashad? Did you like it? Did you did you enjoy the movie like we did? Quietly. <laughs> why, why are you holding your breath? What are we underwater? Because he would always do, he would always it felt like he was puffing his cheeks when he was doing stuff. <laughs> really raised oh, yeah. his eyebrows a little bit, you know. I don't know. I liked the whole yeah, I really liked it, man. Like I wanted to see this right from the trailer comes out. And it's like I never want to see horror movies. Like horror movies, it's just not my thing because they don't scare me, you know, so it's like it's just the same old, same old, some demon or some crazy doll or something like that. But it's like when this came out, it's like wow, like the whole idea of them having to be quiet. It's like man, like I really want to see this. It's definitely going to be so different than what I'm used to seeing. And I and I wasn't disappointed. Um, I like the overall look of John Krasinski. That's one of my favorite parts about it. It's because every time I see him, I see Jim from The Office. Like he was in some type of CIA movie. <laughs> and, and you know when I see him, it's like, but that's Jim from the office, y'all. You know? Like he works at Dunder Mifflin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't let him fool you. You know, so I couldn't take. I didn't even want to see that movie because he look. He just has a face kind of like Inspector Gadget. Like his features are really round, kind of. He's got your big ears and stuff. It doesn't intimidate me. But with the beard and stuff, it's like okay. Like I feel you. Like I didn't even recognize that he was him. I hope he keeps that look for a little while because I think it'll. You know, I think it definitely helped boost his career. Um, I love the premise of the movie, like I said, and I love the suspense that came with it, you know, because, again, it was so much quiet. You just didn't know what was happening. How was this? How are they going to get out of this situation? You know, again, spoilers, like when they're giving bare birth to the baby or when they fall in the silo, like, oh, my God, like falling in the silo. That's horrible. That is a horrible way to die. Let me tell you. I know. I, I know from experience from dying. And uh, I like the dad's character. <laughs> I like the, uh, I really like the preparations that they made. <laughs> like, um, like they had lights all around the shack to let everybody else know, hey, like this is dangerous right here. If you come back, just know that there's a creature out. That was cool. I like yeah. how they, I believe they had like a dead animal as a distraction. It was so, a big game of red light, green light. They were playing, they were just playing red light, green light. The whole red movie. light, dead light is what they were playing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but they had a dead animal, I think, as a distraction outside. So the creature shows up like if, if, if it doesn't find them, it'll take that animal. That was cool. Um, I like the secret chamber they had, the oxygen mask for the baby, the, even the chest to put the baby in. Like, I feel like I want to invest in some of those. And I uh, <laughs> the, the speed of the monsters like the mugs were coming up so fast like that was amazing like they were running running olympic records right there so so much to like about this movie um what did you dislike about the movie so i'll go back to you mr danny dislikes i didn't have a lot of dislikes but i will say you know i wanted to know more about the aliens like i 
I know that the movie was about the family, but I wanted to, you know, know more about the aliens and the invasion, you know, all that stuff. Hopefully, you know, if they get a sequel or a prequel, you know, we'll get that information. But I did want to know, besides the, the little clippings that we saw, that they were indestructible and, you know, that sound will get you killed and, you know, all this stuff. And there was no hope. Um, besides that, we really didn't get much information on the aliens at all. Like, um, except if you make a sound, they will kill you. Um, I didn't, it was kind of weird that we didn't know any of the, um, characters names. Like I didn't know any other characters names in the movie, like for the whole movie, cause they never really, you know, said them, you know, I, I'm sure they, I don't even know if they signed names, you know, I just know it was dad, mom, dad. daughter, <laughs> daughter, son. <laughs> Baby, baby. <laughs> that's it. That was that was all the characters <laughs> in the whole movie. Um, so I thought that was kind of weird, but you know, it didn't really bother me any. And then um, also like as a writer, I've I've been looking. I look for like subplots in a movie because there's um something I learned recently when writing is that your subplot is supposed to support your, the plot of your movie. If if there's a you know a secondary story, which is a which is a usual device, and usually in movies you have a subplot. And in this one, I just couldn't catch what it was. I'm sure there was one, but I just couldn't catch what the subplot was because I couldn't tell if the plot of the movie was the aliens or it was, you know, this this woman about to have a baby and them having to survive. Like I didn't, I couldn't, I didn't, couldn't get a, a hold of, but that's just me as a writer. Like I couldn't get a hold of what the actual plot of the movie was and what was the inciting incident, what was the you know, the, um, the, the conflict. And then what was the resolution? Those things uh, I look for in movies and I, I couldn't really get a hold of them. I'm sure they are there and I'm sure I can figure it out, but, um, you know, not in that first. The, the subplot was the old man yelling. The, ah! <laughs> subplot. The old man <laughs> strangled him. I would have struggled him if he had a chance. The dad, the dad should have been like, hold on. Just give me, give me two minutes, two minutes. And you <laughs> All you want two minutes. Put the walk over here. Now you scream. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I'm away my hand. You feel his scream. <laughs> it was so good because you could see it on his face. He was just like the sun bumped into him. And he was like, "Don't move." He was like, "Please don't say it." What is? Yo, there's something making noises outside. Look, I'm about to quit. <laughs> there's something <laughs> making noises outside <laughs> my house right now. <laughs> Well, if it's making noise outside, then you good. Look, <laughs> but not be no uh, no quiet place aliens out here, cause I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. I got scared in real life. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> you better you better bring in the ace blade to come and put on your king's supreme crown real quick. But I have to find a sword or something around here. Uh, but that was it for me. That was all I, I didn't like about the movie. I, it was it was good for me. I enjoyed it mostly. But those little things, you know, since I had to pick something I didn't like. What about y'all? All right, all right. Before we get before we get into Charlie, we're gonna have to address something with you real quick. We had to address something because I see a track record. What's happening right here? Like, why can't you be patient, Danny? Like, what's up, man? Like, you're. For one of your for your dislikes, you offer if if they don't reveal everything about the creature or about the backstory, you don't like it. Remember, you said that about Black Lightning. I was just watching it when Black Lightning came out. It's like, well, they didn't show us how he got his powers. You know, I want to know did he have his powers? How did he get his powers? And we talked about Bright. Well, I didn't like the fact that you know where did the orcs come from? How long how long have been around? I want to know about like can we, can, can't they just you can't handle patience, man? They got to tell you everything. You got to know everything. They got to at least give enough so that <laughs> so that we know that it makes sense. Like we got to, they got to set the foundation rules for the story. If you don't set the foundation, uh, then I can just assume anything is possible. So that's true. They they didn't want to fall into that. Don't make no sense. So therefore, they just don't make it. It's just no sense at all. <laughs> you don't need to know. <laughs> right. You don't need to know. <laughs> you don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Charlie? What you got? What is there any dislikes from you? And uh, and real quick, I know Charlie's about to say something, and I'm I'm very surprised that you didn't say it. So I'm, when Dad, when Charlie says it, I'm gonna call it out because I'm surprised you didn't say this because I think that everybody that watched this movie, every single person that watched this movie, is gonna have the exact same dislike. Go ahead. You know my my dislike came at the at the beginning of the movie. 
I just the parenting. The parenting, like you have killer aliens that killed whatever amount of people killed, and you got your baby back there like 17 yards walking down a path of sand. Like you holding the other one, your wife behind you, and then you got the other two. I'm like, somebody say like maybe the baby should be in the middle. And I was like, when I, when I when I saw that, I was like, I just shook my head as a parent. I was like, ain't no way that should have happened. I was like, he, I was like, as soon as he gave him that toy, I knew he was gone. I was like, that little boy gone. She just, <laughs> but his, his sister did not like him. She was like, we need to, we need to be down to two kids. You, you gonna cause us all to die? So I will give you this toy, and I will leave. I'm gonna leave the batteries right here. I see them. I'm gonna just walk off. I ain't, like I didn't see nothing. <laughs> you, know, you make your decision. <laughs> mm, that was part of right. me. I was like, I think I was just living just like just the parenting of that point. I was like, what in the heck? I'm like, and then when he was chasing them, to me, I was like, I'm like, make some noise or something. Like, don't let the little boy, he about to get messed up. You see the thing running at him, like, I'll be cuckooing or something. Like he he sacrificed himself at the end, but I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, it's your kid. But that that was that was he he died from bad parenting. And then <laughs> the, the scene, the, the almost like the next scene that we find out, she got another baby. I'm like, she's pregnant. Like, did they have they didn't have condoms in this in this time of, of the, no, like they didn't they didn't exist? Pulling Come out on. nothing. <laughs> it was like you just had to, you just had to have a baby. It's like you really don't need to have a baby right now. This is not the movie to have a baby in. You gonna die, the baby gonna die, the whole family gonna die because you got a baby. And they was like, and I I, I guess that to me, just seeing them like they were just kind of nonchalant, like you got nine months to prepare for this. It's like I didn't really think you did that great a job. Yeah, you had some rooms that were quiet places, but you could have had like some like some I don't know, some traps set up, you know, for the monsters, like you know, some some secret tunnels or something you just built on the ground. I mean, like you know, live on the ground. You know, do something. You got nine months. You ain't doing nothing else. I mean, <laughs> prepare, you know? I mean, you got some fireworks over here. Like, you know, okay, this, y'all in a, y'all in a, you know, in a farmland. I mean, I don't know. Move to the, move to the river. They screaming at the river. Go take her to the river to have a baby. Y'all just mm. sit there for, for a couple months. And since, <laughs> I don't know, it's just, that kind of got me off my, my gears. I was just like, Sometimes when I look at these horror movies or some of these movies, I see the villains like we should be able to beat them. I thought the aliens. Should be- <laughs> I thought the aliens should have been beatable. Like when I saw that they they just come to wherever sound is. I'm sorry to say, if our military cannot beat them, something's wrong with our military. Like we should be mm-hmm. able to do that. Like I mean, you, some super some some hypersonic waves or something. I mean, they use that on the Hulk. I mean, I mean come on. <laughs> They use that. That was like the second, the second that's gun a, they tried. That's a These different bombs they work in this. <laughs> I mean, you just drop around, just make noise and, and kill them all. But you know, some of those were just, just my little dings of the movie. Um, I guess uh, one one thing that I guess I just want to address. I would have liked to see other cultures in the movie. You know, like I, I guess with all of us, we must have didn't make it after the first when they you, first. You came. know. So, Charlie, you know we didn't make it. Why don't you know why you even say that? Why why are you even playing, dog? We couldn't I bet you we won't even be quiet in the movie theater. <laughs> oh, good we got a lot of oh, black people already. <laughs> oh they're probably only ones still living. Only Harriet Tubman and the Underground Railroad would have would have survived. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but <what> a... <laughs> they only had what like five actors total. I mean, how many credits did they have in this movie? Five people, six and six actors total. Six, six total. Oh, the baby, yeah, the old dude. No, yeah, the, the old, old dude, dude. I guess the old dude and the family is it's three kids. Okay, four of them. All right, you're right. All right, so yeah, that, that's those are my dislikes. Other than that, you know, it was a pretty good movie. I, I enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to tag right in on that. Yeah. Like I said, everybody should agree that there's no oh, way that I'm you... I'm sorry. Oh, you got one I'm more? I have to cut you off. I forgot. I forgot one thing. The daughter. That daughter got on my nerves the entire movie. Yeah. She was a little moody. She she just got on my nerves. I'm like, 
You know you just killed your little brother, right? And now you want to argue sign language and stumping off and just walking. I'm going to just walk off into the woods and just go. I mean, like, just, oh, I'm like, then you killed your other brother because you didn't want to sit down and wait for your daddy. You had to go, uh uh, he ain't coming. I'm about to go do stuff myself, get that little attitude, Nick. And then he fall into the side, the little silo thingy. Y'all all about to die. I'm like, mm-hmm. then you, so I guess she did kill her daddy in a way. She killed the daddy because now he had to run out there to go save them. So, Mm-hmm. The daughter done killed the baby and the daddy. So everybody else about to get it too. She she be by herself. She I saved like it. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah, she's supposed to be the hero because her stuff malfunctioning. Please get out of town. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rashad. I'm right. Fun. I'm right with you, man. I, I'm I mean, we're tagging like old school wrestling, like boom. Like again, <laughs> bad parenting right at the beginning. Like, okay, I get that monsters are attacking the world, but just in the regular world. Why would you have your youngest child walking at the end? That, that doesn't make I know both of you guys have kids, and I know that y'all would never go anywhere with the youngest child, particularly in the woods. <laughs> walking over walking over a bridge? I mean, how many ways could the kid die just in general? <laughs> Much less monsters. I'm surprised the monster didn't even leave him alone. It's like, dang, this mother about to die anyway. I might as well. I don't even mess with him. <laughs> the monster, the monster's like something's not right about this. This right. is crap. It's, it's a crap. trap. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> oh boy! And yeah, I'm like you, man. I didn't like the daughter's character at all. Like she just made a lot of dumb decisions based off of she was trying to rebel. Like, oh, I'm going to give him the uh, the toy, and then her wandering off, like. And first, okay, first of all, and going back to bad parenting, why was she able to wander off anyway? Like, in a situation where you can't call your kids on the phone, nor can you yell at them, they need to be around you, like, all the time. Like, they should, the kids should always be within about 10 to 15 feet away from you. I mean, because, I mean, what was the mom supposed to do once she realized that the daughter wasn't there? There's nothing she could do. So the kids should always be there. I mean, that should should have been something that was taught and inbred into them. But her running off, making that dumb decision, yeah, that was dumb. But again, the mom made some bad decisions herself. You mean to tell me she went all day without checking on the daughter? All day. She just washing the clothes? Washing clothes, uh, cooking dinner? I mean, it's not like she's sitting down checking Snapchat (laughs) <laughs> you know, she's not on the phone with her girlfriends. I mean, what is she doing that she's not like, hey, I haven't seen my daughter in about 30 minutes. You know, I wonder what she's doing. Come on, bad parenting. And then um, why the heck did the mom pull up on the nail when she when she caught the groceries on the nail? Why did she pull up on it? Why did she just let it go, see what's going on, and pull back up? Like, you can see something in a snag, just in real life, not even with monsters coming. You know if you pull up on it, you'll probably rip it. So why don't you just take a moment and come back down? By the way, one of my likes, the mom was real cool when she stepped on that nail. and She was like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, oh like, see, that was control. They had mad control. Um, if I'm going to be nitpicky, because other than that, I really didn't have any other things that I disliked. If I'm going to be nitpicky, though, um, as far as the monsters were concerned, like, we, we keep getting the same sounds from monsters. It's like, Aah! like, it's the same sounds, like all monsters that make sounds. They, it's like they keep using that same thing. It's like, I like to hear something different. And it's the same evil music. You know, it's always the music that's falling. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's like we always know. I mean, if, I remember. I mean, that they've been using that music at least since X Men: The Last Stand. When the trailers came out, Magneto was using the bridge. Yeah, <laughs> take that from you, because when uh, Star Wars: The Last Jedi came out, you were complaining that they didn't use the same music that they've been using for the past thirty years. It's like, that, oh, that's, in, that's in the same <laughs> movie complex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the movie. same movie family. <laughs> That's completely oh different. It was all new characters. It was all new characters. You got Finn, Ray, uh, all them new characters, and you want to use the same music? No, it's not the same. No, thing. I just wanted them to have. I wanted them to have some themes. I don't have no type of themes, like none. Like Finn, what's Finn's theme? 
What is this? I don't thing? know. <laughs> Still ain't got no thing. His name is do 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 do. Right, yo, breathing. That's his breathing thing. Hard. <laughs> he has to be the new Darth Vader. Oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so uh, I, I got some questions real quick. I hope y'all can answer because I watched a private screening, so I didn't necessarily couldn't like make out everything. So I, I don't know. Okay, first of all, why was the dad carrying that particular son? Because wasn't that son older than the, the one that died? I thought he, he was, was sick. sick. Nah, he was I, sick. Oh, he was sick. He was. Sick. Oh, they, oh. they went there to get him medicine. That's right. Okay. And then his mama gave him the medicine. And then also the little boy almost killed everybody in the store too. So yeah, that, that might have been a good point to hold his hand because he about killed everybody like 10 times. So Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I think I had some other questions. Oh yeah, the, the old man, like I guess I guess what happened with the old man is he just saw his wife dead. And I guess that's why he yelled. I guess that was it. Is that was that it? He was. I he guess was, he old. He his, he lost. Old. His, he he, old he lost. I mean, he lost his only you no know, reason of living. So mm -hmm. I mean, I guess you know he just want to go out. His wife dead. Hey, come kill me too. I mean, right. he could have waited okay. about five minutes, but you know he had to do what he had to do. He could have gave him two. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, he you, couldn't you, give him nothing. You, you know he he was probably sitting over there waiting till somebody walked past him. To yell, he was like, he probably been looking at his wife for like two days. I like, just sit for real. Like, <laughs> somebody about to pass. I know somebody about. To, I see all this sand out here. Somebody about to walk past me. I might like, mess them all up. Kids and all. <laughs> Can y'all imagine living in this world? Like all the things that you do that make noises. Like you can't open a drink. Like ch -ch -ch -ch. <sighs> I can't drink it. <sighs> You can't fart. I mean, can you imagine they were sitting there in the quiet and all of a sudden you're <laughs> Peter Griffin, like, sorry, you know. We can do, do a comedy version with just that, that like, definitely needs to be an SNL sub SNL sketch. Yeah. I was like, oh man, like, like even like going to the bathroom, bruh. We what all know how it is when you go to the bathroom. Mm -mm. Right. You better be like sitting there just patiently like, whew, like you give them birth. <laughs> Trying to ease it out. Take you 30 minutes to use the bathroom. You had to, and, and as men, you got to sit down every time. Every time. <laughs> no quick, no quick you did it. Right. <laughs> Daddy, should people watch this movie? Absolutely. And uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, your closing thoughts too on that? Absolutely, man. People should definitely go see this movie. I want to go see it again. Um, I probably will. It was like really refreshing. It was really good. I want to look and see if I can find any um like any more backstory on the aliens. Um, I heard that it was actually gonna be part of the Cloververse, Cloverfield universe at first, but they decided to to make it its own separate thing. So yeah. But um, that's all for me for this week, y'all. I appreciate you checking us out. Um, look out for Ace Blade coming up on Kickstarter. I'm um, be wearing purple. Um, we're going out to Universal Fan Con the week of the Infinity War. Um, I, I'm, sadly, I won't be here with the with the crew, but I'll be out oh. there with Ace Blade Comics. So uh, that's all I got for y'all for now. Uh, keep your keep your red lights keep your red lights shining and. Uh, <laughs> Until next time, stay vigilant, my friends. I'm out. <laughs> nice. Mr. Charlie, uh, closing thoughts, and should people see this movie? Yeah, I definitely think you should see the movie. It's, uh, it's, it's like, like Tori said, it's a breath of fresh air. You know, it's good to see something different for a change. Uh, so definitely go out there, support it. You know, it's a good movie. You'll enjoy it. Um, but, yeah, you know, that's, that's about it. I, I, I enjoyed it. I think everybody else will enjoy as well. But uh, if outside of that, you know what's coming up, people. You know what's about to happen. I don't, I don't got my helmet around, but you know what's about to happen. Oh, <laughs> it's right behind you, man. It's right behind you. Here we go. I see it. I don't feel like getting that. Come the little people. Well, I got a war machine. Here we go. Here we go. The real guy. Here we go. That's the three musketeers all, right there. You know. They're all scrolls. <laughs> 
Shut up. He don't know that. That'd be stupid. That'd be stupid. <laughs> he had so many plot holes in that. that reason. Anyways, but we got we got Infinity War coming out. You know, KFH Party Easy is doing it real big, just like we did for Black Panther. We're going to be at Cinnabowl, Frank Cinnabowl and Carrie. We got everything. We got the whole, we shutting the whole place down. So the whole place is our fun part. You're going to see the movie. VIP style, you're going to go upstairs, we got a Comic Con type style of panel, so we got all different types of vendors that'll be there, we got the characters to be there to take pictures, and we got people face painting, doing balloon art, and you know, your boys, Color Commentary will be there doing a live show, you got the bowling alley, and the arcade, food, and much fun, so you know, if you're, you're in, in the area, you want to come join, take a look, I'll put the link, link in um, below. Definitely chum check us out. Have a good time. We're going to be bringing Infinity War, Infinity War with a bang. So look forward to see everybody there. Take care. Nice. Um, yeah, man, I think that people should see the movie. Uh, I actually think that she, people should actually pay to see the movie. Um, you know, I saw the, the private screening that was that was aired. You know, I, I had I have connections like that. I mean, there was a shoulder in the way for a good portion of it. And I don't know how that happened. I mean, when I'm, you know, using my connections to see the private screening. I don't understand why I'm seeing shoulders and why like two minutes of the movie was cut out. I don't understand, you know, how that happened when you're watching private screenings, but, uh, <coughs> <coughs> but uh, I would love to see it again, you know, in a, in a public screening, you see it with everybody else. So yes, it is a recommend. I think this movie uh, has jettisoned itself into being a, a classic movie. Um, I mean, it's, it's it's a really good movie. So definitely second best movie of the year uh, to me. So guys, thank you again for watching another episode of Color Commentary. Please make sure to look in the description box where you can see other playlists related to all the movies, uh, movies and TV shows that we've done for you. We're working very hard every week to give you the very best uh, spoil. I mean, uh, the very best reviews that we possibly can to keep it entertaining for you. Please make sure to go to our Facebook group where you can check us out there. And also remember that you got to subscribe to survive. This again has been Color Commentary. Views. From a quiet From side. From a very, very different side. Y'all did. <laughs> Peace. And it's got to be. Panel.